In other news, Chinese ambassador to Kenya, Zhu Pijian, says the new Chinese leadership that was unveiled on Sunday will work closely with President William Ruto's administration. Pijian dismissed reports that Beijing might cut funding extended to Nairobi and assured that China is always ready to dialogue with Kenya over financing of projects. The Chinese Communist Party unveiled its top leadership on Sunday. The will lead the second largest economy in the next five years. Chinese ambassador to Kenya explaining the implementations of the changes in Beijing. But first, he sought to assure Kenyans that the new regime under President Xi Jinping values the relationship with Nairobi and will maintain a close working relationship with President Ruto's government. Uh, China and Kenya enjoy a profound tradition of friendship. And we have every confidence uh, on the leadership of President Rudo and President Xi. Our comprehensive strategic cooperative partnership will, uh, will get stronger and stronger for mutual benefit our two countries and the two peoples. Uh, we are working very well with the Kenyan government. And Amit claims that China is developing cold feet, extending more loans and financial support to Kenya for infrastructure development. The ambassador reassured that the new regime in Beijing will dialogue with Ruto's government over its development priorities. The priority of our cooperation will be decided by our two sides. But, you know, from the Chinese the, our style has always been the priorities of our friends, of our partners, should be our priorities for cooperation. So uh, we are willing to listen, and we are willing to discuss, and we are willing to improve uh, their cooperation based uh, 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 as equal partners. Ambassador Zhou indicated that more Chinese companies are being mobilized to set up businesses in Kenya for the benefit of the people. And the Chinese government is working very hard. We wish, uh, we are promoting trade facilitation, facilitating more made Kenyan products to China. China is a willing partner of Kenya to boost you industrialization process. We encourage more and more Chinese companies, Chinese investors, to expand their business in Kenya, made it here, create jobs, and export to China and the world. He further noted that the two governments are working closely to address the concerns around trade imbalance, especially by allowing more Kenyan exports into the vast Chinese market. At the government level, we keep giving the market process, take the fresh avocado, uh, the, 45, the first batch of 45, uh, 45 tons of fresh avocado after arriving in Shanghai becomes, became very popular among the Chinese customers. And According to your reporting, got the best price in China. Why? This is a winner buyer, winner seller, and meet the Chinese demand for high quality products.